Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add an Instagram feed to your WordPress site quickly and easily using the Instagram feed plugin. And we're gonna do this right from scratch. I'm gonna create a brand new Instagram account and I'm gonna show you how to add the feed of that account to our site and then also the feeds of other accounts because you can actually add multiple feeds to your site using this particular plugin I'm gonna show you, which is pretty cool. So let's get right into it. We are in the dashboard. You can hover over plugins and then add new. Up here, we're gonna type in Instagram feed. And there's a whole bunch of these guys with the same name. As you can see, the top four results are all called Instagram feed. The one I use is the one with the most installs and the highest rating for the number of, of ratings that there are. So this is the one I use up here by Smash Balloon. I'm gonna click on install now. Then I'm gonna click on activate. And that is it. And we have a nice new link down here in the bottom left called Instagram feed. I'm gonna click on there. And we have a couple tabs to work through. Up here, configure, customize, display, and then support, which you can work through optionally if you want at the end. So the first thing we have to do is get an access token and a user ID. And you log in to get it, but we don't have a login yet, at least not in my case. So I'm gonna start right from scratch. I'm gonna make a new Instagram account. I'm gonna to go to Instagram.com. I'm gonna log in with Facebook the Facebook company, so I figure that should work pretty well. There's me from a couple years ago. I'm gonna choose a password. It's not gonna like me for that simple password, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have an Instagram account. That's how easy that was. So if we go back to here and click on this login to get access token and user ID, because I just logged in, I just, I'm logged into my brand new Instagram account over here. It auto logged me in to this option here, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna click on authorize. And now we have our access token and user ID ready to rock and roll. So here it says important, copy and paste these into the fields below and click changes. So I'm gonna copy that one, paste it in here, copy the user ID, paste it in here. And you see there's some other options that are grayed out. That's because they're part of the pro version. And what this allows you to do is this shows photos from user IDs and you have multiple in here. You have as many as you want in here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Or you can post photos that have specific hashtags or were liked or from a specific location if you have the pro version. This option here preserves settings when plugin is removed. I don't usually click that because when I delete a plugin, I wanna delete it. What this does is it will keep the settings of the plugin in the database in case you want to reinstall it in the future. You may or may not want that. Are you using an Ajax powered theme? Ajax means JavaScript updates live without refreshing the page. You'd have to check in your theme documentation whether you're using a theme like that or not. I don't believe the 2017 theme is like that, which I'm currently running. So I'm gonna click on save changes. And then the next step is customize. Here, we customize the feed. We customize the width, the height, the background color, how to sort the photos, how many photos, all kinds of options. Upgrade to Pro, you can have a carousel. Show it in the header, sure, why not? Update the captions for the Pro, get the Pro version to likes and comments. So go through here, pick the ones you prefer. Your own custom CSS and JavaScript are pretty cool. You probably wouldn't want to add those until after the plugin's on the site so you can see what it actually looks like. And then you can modify it using these two options. And so I didn't really do any changes, but I'm gonna save anyway, just for good measure. Then we're gonna to go to display your feed. And it's gonna give us a nice little short code here. So we can copy and paste this code to display the feed onto any page. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call it Instagram feed. Then I just paste that short code in there Click on publish, and now I'm gonna have my super boring Instagram feed there, which currently has nothing on it. So let's see what shows up. Unable to show Instagram photos because there aren't any in my feed. This is where a very cool feature of this plugin comes in, which allows you to add Instagram feeds from other people. So the way we do this is in the short codes, if we go back to here, we're able to add Instagram feed, the short code, and then add a user ID or we can even add multiple, Instagram feed, shortcode, and then add user IDs that are separated by commas. And that's pretty awesome. There's some other uh, additional stuff you can play around with if you want, but I'm just gonna add another user ID so you see how this works. I'm gonna copy that, 
I'm gonna add this to this page, and now we're gonna find another user ID. So if I head over to Instagram, I'm gonna search for Shaquille O'Neal, see if he's on here. I don't know if I spelled that right, that's probably him right there. There's Shaq. Now, the key here is that we have to find his actual user ID. And Shaq up here, that's not his user ID. So the way I usually find it is I go to Google and I type in, how do I find Instagram user ID? And then the one that I use, I believe it's this one, otsberg.net. And what it says we have to do is we go to our profile, we copy an image and we paste the link to the image in here. So if you go to Shaq's profile, it's gonna copy this image right here, or copy the link I mean, by right clicking on it, clicking on copy address. Go back to here, paste that link, then click on go, and it spits out Shaq's user ID. So I'm just gonna copy that, go back to our post, replace this with the user ID, click on update, and now I'm gonna go back to my page, refresh this page, and with any luck, Shaq's gonna show up in there, and there he is. Shaq's Instagram feed is now on the website. And it's by default, it's set to four columns. You can set the columns, you can set the number of photos or the number of columns that you go down. And if you wanted this in, for example, your sidebar, you'd want to adjust the number of columns, the number of rows that you have. So depending on how much space you have available, you can adjust how many columns, how many rows. And then you can also go ahead, and if you recall back in the settings, in the customized settings, you're able to determine the width of the feed, uh, the number of photos as well. So you can, you can set everything you want just to make this feed fit perfectly wherever you want it to fit. And that's all there is to it. That is how you use the Instagram feed plugin for WordPress to add Instagram feeds. You can add as many as you want as long as those people don't get mad at you. Uh, hopefully you just add your own or people you know. And that's it. Hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com for more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.